Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we're back on to Worth Run and Liberty for episode 6, I think it is. If my memory serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't. We shall see how we get on today, maybe for an hour or so. So, uh, get this controller sorted out here. Alright, where are we up to? Uh, let's do that. Let's do this. No clue what we're up to. I've not played it for a week or so. Maybe. Uh, let's do that. Okay, that's good. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do the same one. I'm going to do it for eight hours. I think we're getting more out of it that way. I'm not sure if we do or not, but I think we do. Um, right, let's exit from there. Right, back to control. Uh, yes, right, it appears we've got things to do here. I'm not sure what we're doing, but we'll, we'll do what we're supposed to do. Pick up the burlap sack. Oh, okay, so we just wait the one. Burn the burlap sack in the fire. Speak with Sophia. It all went smoothly, thanks to you. Okay. Oh, right, the letter. You said the person who asked you to deliver it was named Romeo? Actually, it's Dr. Leonardis who's caring for all the patients sent outside town now. They've been quarantined, so I can't visit either. It will be faster if you discuss this letter with Dr. Leonardis. Instead of... He's in the clinic in Vienta Village Plaza. We, the Resistance, want to help. But Dr. Leonardis said there was a risk of spreading infection if many people got involved. So this is as far as I can go. Mm. If you can, would you ask Dr. Leonardis if there's anything simple to be done? Groups are off limits, but perhaps it will be different for you solo. The resistance forces outside of town have been burning the belongings of epidemic patients. You met a woman wearing a mask that you didn't recognize but soon realized she was Sophia, one of the terrific trio. After doing some work at her behest, you heard that letters could be delivered to the doctor in person and headed to the clinic. We are on our way. I hope I can remember how to fight on this game. <laughs> It's been a while. Oh, welcome. Come over this way. And now let's see. How much pain are you in? What? Then why are you here? I'm quite busy now, so if you're not here because you're injured, then please return later. Oh, Julio. I see. I'll deliver this letter, don't worry. Just be on your way now. Goodness, no. Leaving here quickly would be helpful. Sophia worries over nothing. Then check on the patients here. And in particular, if any are hearing things. Do tell me. Why have you got that long nose mask on? Just as a matter of interest? Uh, who's there? My stomach still hurts. Lately, I've been hearing strange noises at night. They wake me up, then it's difficult to get back to. Still, I initially came to the clinic because of a stomach ache. But Dr. Leonardus diagnosed me with this strange disease. I took some of the green medicine he prescribed. If it hadn't been for Dr. Leonardus, 
Oh, I never would have known how sick I was. Okay, this guy's doing experiments, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he's not a good guy. Blood. Blood. <coughs> what do you want? Oh, yes. It's hard because I can't stop coughing. My throat is so sore and my head is pounding. Yes, I do. I recently heard a strain. Uh, I hope I'm discharged soon. The medicine Dr. Leonardus gave me is working wonders. Dr. Leonardus said if I take this green medicine as prescribed, I may hear things. But he said that's just a harmless side yeah, effect. Yeah, I'm sure he did. The He's person who was very next to me until guy. recently had hallucinations so bad she talked in her sleep. But one day I noticed she had been discharged. Hmm, maybe not discharged. Let me just see if I remember how to uh, target stuff. There we go. Okay. Did you meet all the patients? Did you check those who are hearing things? Oh, really? <laughs> it's finally begun. Thank you for your help. You may go now. Everyone has different symptoms, but it must be a plague. Can't you see they're conducting research to ensure the patient's symptoms don't worsen? Green medicine? What are you talking about? Cut the crap and get out! Yeah, something's not right here. Exit the clinic. A doctor named Leonardus at the clinic seemed to really dislike visits from outsiders. He permitted you to help once he heard Sophia's name. But all the patients' responses to your questions seemed odd. You asked about the green medicine they all mentioned, and Leonardus immediately became angry and kicked you out. Oh, so you've been to the clinic. Well, I was going to ask anyway. Did you meet Doc? Really? Something suspicious occurred out of the blue. What happened? Oh, that green medicine. I've seen it. Dr. Leonardus was prescribing it for patients without even asking for a fee. So, there was never any epidemic? And it was all because of that green medicine? Dr. Leonardus lied? But why? Dr. Leonardus has always been a very dedicated physician here. Why would such a person... Do something like that. Yes. I trust your judgment. But will you hear the truth if you ask Dr. Leonardus? Hmm. I heard he leaves the clinic every night. Why don't you search it then? If this is true, it's no time to be picky about your methods. I'll investigate a different avenue. But please, come to me immediately if you learn anything. Okay. Oh, we're going to night time. <laughs> it's a coincidence. Who's there? Additional sacrifices procured. Conditions favorable. Fake epidemic plan successful. Now, 
everything is prepared. <laughs> Tonight, the blood ritual will be performed there. The human's blood will be mine, and their bodies will become ghouls to serve me eternally! Well, that's not a surprise, is it? As Sophia suggested, you snuck into Leonardus's clinic at night and saw an unexpected sight. The patients were gone, and the person watching the place attacked you. You defeated him and discovered a journal that contained a plan to fake an epidemic so as to secretly gather human sacrifices. According to the journal, this blood ritual will be held tonight. Adventurer, what are you doing here? Oh, you're a step behind. She was here a moment ago. Sophia's investigators returned and reported their findings. She looked... She left this place to me and went away urgently. Huh? I don't know much about it, but it seems something big is happening. You go to the wine storehouse and try to... You hurry to the plaza to tell Sophia what you had found at the clinic. The wine But storehouse. she wasn't there. A resistant soldier in the plaza said Sophia had received a report from an investigator and then quickly gone to the wine storehouse near Vienta Vineyard. to the rain. Sophia! Who would do such a thing? I got the message and came here right away. What happened? What are these injuries on her neck? What? The, the blood ritual? It, it can't be. If the blood ritual was really held here, even my magic will be useless. And Sophia will end up as a ghoul. The only way to cure her is to find and kill the one who made her this way. But the problem is, in ordinary humans... So, there used to be people called vampire slayers long ago. Oh! Wait! 
Maybe we can use a Guardian's Pledge. I've heard that a Vampire Slayer's Pledge was discovered near Stoneguard Castle. In simple terms, a Pledge is imbued with the power of a hero from the past. Jake Hander, leader of the Stone God Resistance, is a famous Guardian's Pledge collector. He may have a Vampire Slayer's Pledge in his possession. Please do. You should be able to find him at Stone God Castle. If you intend to fight a vampire, you must borrow that Guardian's Pledge. If I know Jake Hander, he's sure to have that Guardian's Pledge. If you can only... You went to the wine storehouse, but you were too late to stop the blood ritual. Rutane said that if you kill the vampire who attacked Sophia, you'd prevent her from being turned into a ghoul. The Lord of Stone Guard, Fernin, an Archeum ally, was famous for being a particularly harsh ruler. He would frequently order the deaths of castle workers, prompting many to flee for their lives. His reign of terror ended when the leader of the Stone Guard Resistance, Jake Hander, arrived. He and his allies drove Fernin from the castle. Is it? Do you have business with me? <laughs> You're a cheeky one. Who do you think I am? I'm Jake Hander. Are you here for a duel? I'll give you anything if you vanquish me. What? Sophia? So that's why you needed the Slayer's Pledge. If only she'd come on as a staff officer when I suggested it, this never would have happened. Her talents are too precious to let go to waste under that staid Da Vinci. If it was strong enough to vanquish Sophia, this vampire must be powerful. Even with your Guardian's Pledge, you're gambling with your life. Will you still do it? Aye. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I like your boldness. Good. I'll give you the Guardian's Pledge of Ezekiel, the legendary Vampire Slayer. Once you activate the Guardian's Pledge, its Guardian will inhabit your body. But that alone is not enough. The memories of a Guardian are called Pledge Loops. The more Pledge Loops you can find, the stronger the Guardian will become. You'll need to find those first before you face this monster. Okay, this way. The Guardian's Pledge was found in the Temple of Silvith. You should go there first. Maybe the Guardian will show you around. Now, hurry. End that creature's life. Somebody. Sealed door. Temple of Silveth. The 
leader of Stone Guard's resistance forces was a cheerful man who felt somehow beast-like. Once you had explained the whole story, Jake lent you the Guardian's pledge of legendary vampire slayer Ezekiel. But he advised you to find the pledge loop containing Ezekiel's memories in the Temple of Silivet to strengthen the Guardian first. I'm not liking this, I don't like jumping puzzles. <laughs> oh, this should be take a while. How did this happen? Leonardus, he did it! Oh, Scala. Grab onto there. 
How do we get to that? How did this happen? Leonardis, he did it! Oh, Scarlet! There's no way down there, so we're going to go that way. How did this happen? through that door. annoying at all this how did this happen Leonardis he did it oh Scala Take a while. How did this happen? Leonardis, he did it. Oh, Scarlet. through there and round the back there to come up that way to get that latch on there. So why can't I get through that quick enough? They say Scarlet died! Oh, 
goddess. He did it! Oh, Scala. Do it again. It. Don't have to do it only once, do I? Do we just get How did this here? Happen? Then wait for everything to collapse again, and then what? use this one. You did it! Oh, Scala! There we go. When one thinks about it, one sorts it. <laughs> I was under the illusion I had to do it all in one. Seems they will dog me to the end. I better get out of here soon. What was his name again? 
Ezekiel. I dispatched that fool a long time ago. and learned about Ezekiel's past. Leonardus killed Scala, Ezekiel's teacher and lover, and Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer out to have his revenge. As Jake said, you could tell that the Warden was becoming more powerful as you traced his life story. I know the rest of the story now, do you? While being bitten by a vampire, Ezekiel was saved by Scala, the monster hunter. Despite now becoming a half vampire, Scala trained him to become a vampire hunter. Scala would later be killed by Baron Leonardus, a powerful vampire lord. Ezekiel vowed to avenge her. Over the course of decades, Ezekiel became a legendary vampire slayer. He found Leonardus and began a fight to the death. <laughs> but Leonardus was too strong. At death's door, Ezekiel used the last of his strength to draw a magic circle with blood and placed a Guardian's Pledge in its center. With his soul now infused in the Pledge, Ezekiel became a Guardian, protecting others from vampires. And now summon Guardians. How do we do that then? Exit the Hall of Wolves. Ezekiel lost the battle with Leonardus, vowed an oath to get revenge, and became a guardian. With the power of the guardian's pledge, Ezekiel encountered Leonardus again, and finally repaid him for what happened to Scala.
At the cliffs beside Stone Guard Castle, there is a huge underground temple built long ago. Before the war with the Lightbringer Society, it was the largest temple of Silavith in Aden. The Great War with the Lightbringer Society resulted in the deaths of most of the Shadowmancers here. Now, only a few surviving followers remain to roam the halls. Okay, then. I was expecting me to go in there. <laughs> that would not end well. Somewhere. Hmm. It must be somewhere over there. Huh? Hey, are you trying to climb up here? You won't make it up here so easily. Unless you know how to use Glide Morph like me, that is. Any glider can fly all the way here in one go, if they take off from a high place like Tyrus Memorial Hall. Hey, okay. do my fall somewhere? Damn it. Got to drop down from somewhere high up there. You just said?
might die. <laughs> there we go. Is this high enough? I suppose there's only one way to find out. This place was the largest granary in Stoneguard, with a water source that spanned the entire Dominion. But one day, the cursed rain fell, and the water source was tainted. The wizards of Venelux cut off the water supply with giant monoliths to prevent the contamination from spreading. The area quickly turned into the desert it is today. out. You're back! What happened? That's... Thankfully, her condition... I owe a great debt to you and to Jake. Are you going to return the Guardian's pledge to Jake? Please, convey to him our gratitude. I see you've heard the rumors. Every weapon I make is exceptional. It's you. Want to see my old weapon? Oh, 
Hold on a second. I need to transfer my old weapon's power first. Is that a euphemism? Huh? Don't you know what a power transfer is? No. How did you even get this strong without it? Well, then you'll be even stronger once you know how to do it. Come here. I'll teach you. Transferring power is a way to enhance a new piece of equipment using old equipment you've upgraded. It's much more efficient than upgrading brand new equipment bit by bit with growth stones. That's why it's so important to upgrade all your equipment regularly, because it'll make for good transfer material for future gear. Oh, and don't forget, the target equipment must be of the same or higher grade as the material equipment. Okay, huh? Okay. Catch a nice fish. Catch fish by fishing. Okay. Uh, what equipment have we, have we all got? Any blue equipment, have we? And we need to upgrade some more stuff. That's max. That's not. Looking for a weapon to fight a mortai? You've come to the right place. Select and register again who has completed the author's summon. Assigned, so I'll take it. We've already got him. Uh, right button, right trigger. Okay. Stat points. Um, Maxed.
bit shy. Hey Fool, how are you today? Uh, doing fine, thanks. Doing fine. I think I'm fine. I'll find out on Wednesday. <laughs> I'll get the results of my latest scan on Wednesday. So fingers crossed. <laughs> yes, precisely. Okay, can't do that, but we can't do that either. No, okay. What else we got? Skills. <laughs> I certainly hope so. It would be nice to get to my birthday. <laughs> it's okay. I, I enjoy it when I play it, but I'm not playing it that much. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've touched it for over a week. But uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, what's this? Raging Frenzy. Increases skill damage boost by 50. When three or more targets are within five meters of radius. That sounds like it could be okay. We're using that as well, aren't we? Um, can I upgrade that? Uh, the main rotation I use is the, the great sword. Um, one thing in it I'm not too sure about though, and that's the, uh, the spinny move. It doesn't seem to do much damage. I'm thinking about switching that out and put something else in there. Yeah, the, um, that one there, Ice Tornado, it doesn't seem to do an awful lot of damage, even though it's, it's AOE, but it doesn't do a lot of damage with it. So I'm thinking of switching that out for something. Wheelbreaker, what's that? Ooh, base damage to all targets with 3 meter semicircle. Uh, and he flicks Weaken, that might be better. And decreases. Melee ranged and melee defence by... Uh, I take it that's on the mob. Shall we try... We haven't got that on, have we? Shall we try that? Or do I switch it again? I can't remember. <laughs> Let's try that instead of that. Let's live a lot of it. Yeah, I've not even checked out any guides for this, so I'm, I'm just guessing basically uh, 
Ähm Yeah, 100 base damage to all targets within three meters sounds okay to me. Better than that, I think. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Uh, skills again. Can you buy blue equipment from anywhere, does anybody you know? Or did I forget that from dungeons? Flowers? I've got flowers! How about a flower? Oh! I have a flower that will match your outfit perfectly. Just nod and play along. I have a secret message from Da Vinci. Yeah, I heard they were getting sued by Nintendo, but I, I'm not sure how it ended up. I don't think it's been resolved yet, has it? But they've re they have released another update. The flower you see here is called I'm an undercover resistance spy. They call me. Was that a few weeks ago? I should imagine if, if Nintendo was suing them, that's going to take a while. Listen up. Lately, the Archeum Legion has been searching desperately for a mana stone known as the Golem's Heart. I think so, I'm for. I'm not 100% certain I'd Google it if I were you. See That's the, right. how the ongoing situation the is. Heart is a powerful monostone. It is said to have the power to control giant golems capable of destroying fortress walls. The thing is, they're not suing them over the the models, are they? Of, of the actual um, pals, you know, compared to the. Uh, the Pikachus and that. Oh, is that so? Oh, come on. That's the word I was looking for. Plans to make a... How do you like? Thank you very much. Da Vinci is it the action to right throw for this mission? the actual ball? Something like that that they're suing on for. It's multiple basic actions, I think. Uh, what's that? Ah! Where are you off, dude? Stop! What do you need? No, I wasn't wanting that. Not that. Oh, you've only got shit, haven't you? <laughs> Come again! Ah! 
You're safe. I heard the story from Routine. Thank you so you, much. How are you doing? You got bit. I feel much better, thanks to you. I'll be sure to repay the favor sometime. Yeah, that's true. Very true. I, th I think it's, I think it's all very petty. I, I don't see why they have to try and take Power Will down. It's a cracking game. Um, what have we got? Yeah, it is. It really is. I'm thinking of starting it over. <laughs> get to that. How do we get up there? Oh, that's how. The worse the weather, the more you need to prepare. Kill the merchant. Oh, I'll tell you what. Is this the guild or is No. Where's the guild house again? The worse the weather, the more you need to prepare. Take a look. Never mind. We shall go after this. Ooh. Actually. We shall do that next time. <laughs> it's going to 10 to 3. I need to get it going. We are dog sitting, sit, sitting a dog uh, tonight. So, uh, and it's arriving soon. So I better get going. All right, Paul. Thanks for chatting, mate. I shall see you all soon. Thank you for your hard work. This is all grey. Signing off. See you later, mate.